Willie Gay Jr. has been, again, by all accounts, absolutely fantastic in camp. And I remember kind of these vibes last year, but like not quite to this extent. Um, people expected a big year from him. He had a he had a decent year. I wouldn't say he was great or anything, but now even Connor Christofferson, who like me is pretty low on like the overreaction spectrum, wrote an article that was like titled the the year Willie Gay Jr. is upon us. Like people are buying in to this and thinking he's going to explode. Um, I think the tandem of him and Nick Bolton is going to be really damn good. But the thing with Willie Gay Jr. has always been the processing ability. Like when he got drafted, people for some odd reason made the comparison to Derek Johnson and said he was going to be that guy for the Chiefs. And he was going to like, I'm not saying he has a slow processor. I'm not saying that he ever did when he came in, but like he was one of the more raw players the Chiefs had drafted in recent memory. He still took a little bit to catch on. He wasn't used in coverage as much as people expected, um, played a little bit of a different role. I think this is the year that even, you know, the dime linebacker rotation is a hot subject of discussion. People want to bring up that Anthony Hitchens is gone, that Ben Neiman's gone, there's snaps to go around Leo Chanel, not exactly playing the same spot, all that. Is the Willie Gay Jr., like on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you buy him having, I don't want to say like a, pro bowl caliber year but like a really good season mm. yeah i've been really impressed with willie um i think that's kind of been i think i've already dubbed him kind of my player so far this camp uh with the way he's been able to put together a few practices and i think what's what's really impressed me about willie gay jr is his coverage ability has really improved uh, and that was kind of a big thing. You know, he was a good coverage linebacker out of Mississippi State, but he only played like eight games or something at Mississippi State, maybe 16. Like he, did, he didn't play very many games. And so that was always one of those things where people would bring up like, oh, he had the highest pass coverage grade at linebackers, but it was like an eight-game stretch. So it's like, all right, how much can we really can we really rely on that? And I, and I think I've seen a lot of improvement from – both linebackers from Nick Bolton, from Willie Gay, in, in the coverage ability. Willie Gay's had a, like three or four interceptions already at this camp, um, and, I, and one of my favorite quotes about uh, about that from him was, you know, he was talking about he wants to lead the linebackers in sacks in the NFL. I think that's a great goal for him, or he, not in sacks and in interceptions. And he said, you know, if Patrick Mahomes is throwing them to me, I know other quarterbacks are going to. Um, so I think that that's kind of his attitude right now. And, and he has one of the best quarterbacks in the game to go up against and try to improve in that situation. He, he really has. Um, so it's been very encouraging. Not only that in, in the coverage game, he's had a couple of plays where moving downhill. Now, now we've known this ever since he was drafted, right? And going downhill is his cup of tea, uh, getting the running backs, uh, going after plays that are in the backfield. And he's, he's done that really well again. Uh, firing through gaps, identifying run plays where they're going has been has been really good for him. Um, I do hesitate to like get too excited about him. Right, um, this is a young defense, and I and I I'll, and I want to preface, you know, we're going to talk about the defense a whole lot more because I think that there's way more storylines on the defense than there are on the offensive side of the ball. Um, this defense is going to struggle week one. Uh, they're going to struggle probably up until week five, but that doesn't mean you need to fire everybody. Steve Spagnuolo's head doesn't exactly. need to be pike, you know. Uh, this is a young team. They're going to have to make adjustments. There's going to be a lot going on <laughs> for these for all these young guys. Listen, you know how many rookies like you just listed off about who are in the defensive backfield. You have two, well, not two new safeties, but you have Juan Thornhill. You have Justin Reed, who's new to the team this year. You know, you're going to have Brian Cook, who will maybe rotate in. That's a rookie going in there. You've got Trent McDuffie. You've got Josh Williams maybe cracking a little bit of reps there. Rashad Fitton is coming back off of injury. Your Legarius Sneed, who has looked good in all accounts. And then you talk about the linebackers here. I'm just going to talk about the whole defense, I guess. Uh, you're going to talk about Nick Bolton. You're going to talk about Willie Gay, Leo Chanel. Elijah Lee's looked really good to this camp, and he's kind of been playing that dime linebacker role a little bit. Um, you're, you're talking about a bunch of wholesale changes, a bunch of changes to this defense, so you can't just automatically anticipate it to all click together. That's not going to happen. So I think you kind of need to hedge your expectations for this defense. Also doesn't help that their schedule is incredibly hard. Like their their schedule is tough. It, this it could be like I'm I'm worried honestly about like how it's going to be optics wise because they play their first half of their schedule is insane um, in terms of who they play and they could start off you know only with a couple wins and that will deter people. But I don't think that really should deter you uh, because good teams 
some time, some adjustment time to get ready. These guys have less and less pattern practices every year to get ready for this with the new CBA and everything and kind of how the everything's flipping with football. So a uh, long-winded way to tell you that Willie Gay has been playing really well, but don't freak out if he doesn't play well in the first part of the season. <laughs>